Or Why threatening. are you doing that? Want raise? No, so do you want you want to go out with a baby? No. The man heard threatening his ex-girlfriend with a gun, later barricading himself inside of her home, is now a free man. But prosecutors say they made a mistake. Hi, everyone. A lot to get to here at 6 o'clock. We're glad you're joining us. I'm Hunter Hoagland. And I'm Rory Johnston. They say Michael Thibodeau was accidentally released from jail one hour after he was featured in our News Channel 5 Investigates Mental Health Special, Revolving Door. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail learning more about what happened. Where was the confusion? You know, Michael Thibodeau agreed to a plea deal that was supposed to keep him in jail for at least another year. But prosecutors say the documents were misinterpreted as probation. So even though prosecutors say Thibodeau could be a dangerous to other people, if not on medication, they say there's nothing they can do at this moment to make things right. And I know that the victim is not happy, and I am uh, sorry that this has taken place. COVID may have kept Rutherford County District Attorney Jennings Jones from being here or in court. Please work with me because uh, I, I'm not feeling 100%. But he maintains that his absence is no excuse for what happened last week. That's when Michael Thibodeau, the man who once spent days terrorizing people in Murfreesboro before barricading himself in his ex-girlfriend's home, was mistakenly released from jail. It's my understanding there was a miscommunication between the assistant district attorney in General Sessions Court and the assistant district attorney in Circuit Court. Thibodeau was a free man roughly one hour after he was heavily featured in a News Channel 5 Investigate special talking about suspects being released from jail for being mentally incompetent to stand trial. Unlike most of those cases, Jones says this came down to a mistake in paperwork. We can see where the court acknowledged that Thibodeau had already spent the last 228 days in jail for threatening Albany Weatherspoon with a gun in a three-hour standoff with police. Why are you doing that? This was Weatherspoon this just weeks later. I just don't want nobody else to have to deal with it. I do not want anybody else to have to deal with that. I felt so alone. I felt so lost. Thibodeau agreed to a plea deal to serve at least 30% of a four-year jail sentence. But in the notes, attorneys wrote time served, which Jones says was misinterpreted as Thibodeau had already done his time instead of applying this time to what he still had to serve. The judgment form was drafted incorrectly, uh, and the plea that was entered was not the plea uh, that had originally been offered to the defendant. This is the same man who was found mentally incompetent for assaulting Witherspoon, but while he was in jail, Thibodeau was also charged with assaulting a corrections officer. He then violated an order of protection by contacting Witherspoon. Jones calls it a flaw in our justice system because had Thibodeau not committed those crimes while in jail, his other charges would have been dropped anyway, and Thibodeau would have been eventually released. Jail does not bring someone from incompetency to competency other than a, a continued course of medication. It is the single biggest problem that the criminal justice system has. Is this a dangerous man? Is this a guy that should be out right now? If he has not remained on that medication, if he is no longer competent, then it is possible uh, that he could be dangerous. We've already seen what Thibodeau is capable of while not on medication. And according to Jones, taking medication is not a condition of Thibodeau's probation. So while Jones says he doesn't believe he can undo what's already been done, he understands why Weatherspoon and others may fear the absolute worst. If you had an opportunity to speak to her right now, what would you say? I would tell her that uh, I apologize and my office apologizes for the fact that this plea did not go uh, as we had discussed with her. Uh, and I would tell her that I am going to do everything within my power to make sure that this does not happen again. Now, Thibodeau was told he can't have any contact with Weatherspoon, otherwise he would be in violation of his probation and sent back to jail. District Attorney Jones told me he is speaking with legal experts to see if there's a way to correct the issue. If he does find a way to hold Thibodeau to the original agreement made with, with the attorneys, then Thibodeau would have to return and serve the rest of his sentence. With News Channel 5 Investigates, I'm Levi Ismail.